Hello everyone, welcome back to Angie Seems Pockets and I'm so excited for today's video because today I'll be making a cute little crewmate from Among Us. To make my little crewmate, I'll be working with an original pattern that I drafted myself and um, without further delay, let's get these cut out and let's get started. The first step I did when I printed out my pattern is check the ruler printing guide to make sure that these were actually spaced in into part to make sure that my pattern was in scale. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out along the outer edge of the cut line. I'm also using a pair of craft scissors as you can see these have gotten gunked up over the years. Um, so I'm not afraid to use them on paper. Try not to use good scissors or the scissors that you'll be using to cut out your fabric with these. Now that I have my pieces cut out, I also need to cut out the center of the where the visor is gonna go and then the square here where the backpack is gonna go. So to get to, into the center of the pattern, I'm just gonna kind of fold it, make a nick, and then go off of that nick to cut out my square. I'm also gonna go ahead and nick into these corners where you can see the thicker line going all the way out. So when I sew the backpack on, I'll have like this little fold of fabric to sew it onto. So now that my pattern pieces are cut out, it's time to grab my materials. So first off, I'm gonna use this beautiful red for my little crewmate's body. I'm gonna use this holographic silver for the visor. And because this fabric is a four-way stretch and it will not hold its shape properly when I make it into a plushie, I have to stabilize it with an interfacing. And of course, we can't forget the stuffing. I'm gonna start by unfolding my fabric and taking it down to only one layer. And for this project, I'm using a red cotton flannel, which is, has a nice soft texture on the right side. And it's also a woven fabric, so it doesn't have stretch to it, except for on the bias. So for this project, I would recommend using woven fabrics as opposed to knit fabrics unless you have a woven interfacing to back them up. So I put my little crewmate's body down. I only need one piece of this one. I'm gonna go ahead and pin the pattern to the fabric. And then once I have them pinned, I can go ahead and cut them out. Once I have my little crewmate's body front cut out, I now need to cut out the backpack and the back. When you get to cutting out the square in the back, don't forget to clip your corners. And then on my backpack pattern, I went ahead and made a couple holes in the corner of where the fold line is gonna be. And I'm transferring them over using a water soluble fabric pen. So when I lift it up, you can see the dots right here. So this will allow me to know how far in to fold up my fabric. Now that I have my front, my back, and my backpack done, it is time to cut out my visor. So again, since I'm using a stretch fabric for the visor, I'm gonna first back it up with an interfacing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin my pattern to my interfacing and then iron my interfacing onto my holographic stretch fabric. I'm gonna set my holographic fabric holographic side down so the wrong side is facing up. I'm gonna then align my little um, iron-on interfacing with the glue against the wrong side of the holographic fabric. And I'm just gonna press it nice and hot without using the steam. And then once I press it for a couple seconds, I'm gonna go around and just make sure that every corner Every side of the visor is stuck down, and it is, so now it's time to cut it out. And now that all of my pieces are cut out, it is time to put my little friend together. I'm gonna start by setting in my visor and my backpack. So for the visor, I'm first gonna go in and I'm gonna make sure that the hollow side is facing out. This is the wrong side of the fabric. This is the nice softer right side. I'm gonna go ahead and start pinning the visor to the edge of the visor hole, basically. First, I'm gonna line it up how I want it to go. And to keep it together, I'm gonna use a little bit tiny filter clips. So now that I have my visor clipped around, I'm gonna go ahead and sew at about an 
eighth inch of a seam allowance. Once you get your little holographic visor in and your front piece looks like this, it's time to put together the back and the backpack. For the backpack, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the dots with my ruler. Then I'm gonna pinch my corners down and sew across this line right here on all four sides. Once you have the corners of your backpack sewed down, you can go ahead and clip the excess fabric. Make sure to keep at least a little bit away so you don't accidentally cut through the thread. And now it's time to attach your backpack to your back. First, I'm gonna fold my backpack so that the threads are on the inside. Next, I'm gonna make sure that the right side of my fabric for my back piece is down flat. And then I'm gonna insert my backpack into here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start clipping around the edges of the backpack hole, basically. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sew around, matching the seam allowance to where I clipped the corners. Now that I have my little backpack set into the back of my crewmate, it is time to put both of the front and back together. So I'm gonna do this right sides together so the visor and the backpack will be on the inside. I'm gonna layer them up and then I'm gonna sew all the way around except I'll leave about a two inch opening on the side of my little crewmate so I can actually flip him inside out before I step him. I used a darker thread so you could see my stitches but as you can see I went all the way around except for the little opening. I actually ended up leaving about an inch but I feel like with the size of the little crewmate i feel like i can definitely flip them inside out so let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna start with his little feet this is what he looks like flipped inside out without any of the stuffing so let's go ahead and stuff him i personally am using polyester filling but go ahead and use any filling that you have I'm gonna start with the feet. And then once his feet are nice and stuffed, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff the rest of his little body. Now that I have my little crewmate stuffed, I'm gonna go ahead and close up that seam that we left open using a ladder stitch. And now my little crewmate is ready to go off and do some fun little tasks. That, or go off and do some murder. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now go forth and sew my lovelies and I will see all of you in my next video.